We all know by now that VTubers and mental illness go hand in hand. So if you want to become a VTuber, you have to actively and consciously choose a good mental illness to have that can carry you throughout your career. And if you choose wrong, your career is kind of doomed. Now I'm an experienced VTuber. I've been a VTuber for two entire weeks already. And during that time, I've personally tried out hundreds of mental illnesses and learned so much about which ones work and which ones don't. So I'm here today to share my knowledge for anyone who's thinking of starting out as a VTuber. Here are five of the most suboptimal mental illnesses I found that you should absolutely avoid if you truly want to succeed. But before I start the video, I need to give a brief disclaimer. If I mention your illness, please know that I'm going to completely invalidate you. But behind the scenes, it comes from a place of understanding. Your suffering is valid and mostly out of your control. Not gonna lie, it's still suboptimal for VTubing, but if you succeed despite that, it just means you're just that much mentally stronger. And so, more respect to you. That being said, number five, epilepsy. If you have epilepsy, fuck you! Do me a favor and block me on social media. I don't care, because I never want to interact with someone like you. Imagine trying to stream and having to suddenly end the stream because you saw some disco lights and couldn't resist breakdancing on the floor. I know one person like this, and it really sucks you have to live like that, but like, you just grow up already? This isn't high school anymore. Obviously, this is a huge red flag of who you are as a person. It's a sign of no self-control, which is actually vital for content creation. Because you need self-control to be disciplined, and you need to be disciplined to put out content consistently. Number four, homosexuality. <laughs> Homophobia. <laughs> yeah, I fucking went there. I fucking said it. Liking the same gender is an illness. I'm devious. I'm evil. I know I'm attacking 70% of the VTuber population, but my grandpa raised me to be an unapologetic homophobic, and I ain't letting the tradition die here. Okay, I'm not actually homophobic, but, 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 before you leave, there is one downside. Bisexuals will struggle a little more with time management, because whenever they go outside and see a bicycle, they get horny, and thus distracted from making content. The same applies to the other something sexuals. Number three, depression. Yeah, a real illness, that's right, I'm taking out the DSM-5 now. You got depression? That sucks, man, because your career is going to be rough. One in six people experience depression at one point in their life, so you would think it's a good idea to be a more relatable VTuber. But no, it's literally suboptimal to be sad and low energy all the time when you're supposed to be creative. I don't know how many people can relate to me, but depression is like trying to swim with a massive cock. It's hard. So to all the depression guys out there, just lighten the fuck up, man. It's not that deep. Now, if you're too lazy to give up your depression, whatever. If you want to continue as a VTuber, you at least need to combine that with another disorder to draw energy from. Preferably something characterized by insecurity, like MPD or BD. If you can succeed while being depressed, that would be really impressive, and I would probably volunteer to bear your children because I want those genetics in my bloodline. Number 2. PTSD Yeah, I'm fucking going there. You think this is a joke? You think this video is just a sick fucking joke, huh? Take a look around you. Do you see a circus? Did you come to my channel for a little har har laugh to unwind after a hard day of school? What am I, a clown? You think I lead the buggy pirates? You think- I'm Reed Ford? Well, I hate to break it to you, but- Mama didn't raise no bitch. So ready or not, let's talk about PTSD. You got PTSD? Tough fucking luck, bro. Not even combining it with MPD is gonna save you there because the internet is not a safe place. And if you become a VTuber, you're willingly putting yourself in front of people who are used to not facing consequences for their actions. This is a place where you need a thick skull, while what you actually need is a place to properly heal. Now I'm gonna give you a really relevant quote, so write this down. Trying to become a public figure is like picking up a bar of soap in jail. There's no guarantee if you'll end up with soap in your hands, or if you'll end up with a massive veiny throbbing 10 inch rock hard engine piston cock in your ass. Now moving on. To number one. Body dysmorphia.